update. I've done a couple small changes and I want you to see what's going on out there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go get some flowers today. I need some flowers back there as well and maybe a couple more little starts. We'll see what I come up with. I might change my mind and do all veggie, who knows. All right, so I am gonna go out. I'll show you what's changed. I bought some new little pots at Costco yesterday and I love it. I got them filled with dirt and, or garden soil. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and get them filled with veg and flowers. All right, if you wanna see this, come on along. All right, let's do it. Got my table all cleaned up. I'm ready for, I'm ready for the party. There's one of those pots right over here. Um, these are cute. They, they're just a resin. Oh, you can't really see it in the light there. I'll show you. I, I think I'm gonna put flowers in that one and put it on the table. And it's got, they've got drain holes so it can drain. Hey, shots, what's up? So I'm gonna transplant now my um, little cilantro and this is butter crisp lettuce. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, uh, look, we have Swiss chard coming up in that one. Baby chard, yay, because we need some more of that, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go down and see how things are growing. Got the lawn mowed yesterday, so it's all nice and cleaned up for you guys. So this is the red onions, and um, they're coming along really good, actually. Beans, got beans on both sides of this trellis. Now these are pole beans, so they should go up and over the ladder. So we'll get a few beans. I don't, I don't need a huge crop because I still have some canned from last year. I've got radishes. Can you see how pretty? And look at the tomatoes coming in. My gosh, there's a few new ones in there. Um, there was another plant I saw has tomatoes already. So these are nice, big, healthy plants. I am gonna go ahead and trim back some more leaves, get them up off the ground, just so we don't get any blight. And I have them, I do have them tied, as you can see, to their stakes. And, oh yeah, I need a couple, I gotta pull a couple radishes here. Look at that, nice. Yum, okay, breakfast, anyway. Mm, so good. This one, the beans uh, got eaten because they didn't do very well. I might start a couple in the house and transplant them. Or start them out on the deck here. And then I'll transplant them and get them on here. Strawberries. I did put the strawberry netting on. You can't even see it. So you still have beautiful berry bush or berry plants. But and we've got some berries in there. Hopefully you can see that. This one's got quite a few. Mm. I'm gonna go in there and cut all the runners though. I don't want them necessarily running right now. But um, there are beans down there that can vine up over this trellis. Like that's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's one. So. The dill is already blooming. Look at that. It's as tall, it's as, tall as I am. Huh. It's pretty amazing. Celery. Swiss chard. I gotta cut those heads off again. Let's go around. So here we have, um, this is butter crunch. And I've gotta thin some of this out. I hate doing it, but it's the only way. You're gonna get decent sized lettuce heads so you got to get some of them out of there and sometimes the rootstock is a deep enough or nice strong stock like that one sorry I just transplant it right in a different spot so there you go um, we'll have another crop of lettuce because the romaine look at that it's beautiful so these seed heads I'm gonna get those out of there And they're going on, you know, on all of these. I need to come out here and pick this Swiss chard back. And I'll put baby chard in here and get another crop going. And then this is my parsley, which is more than one parsley plant is more than enough, unless you need to dehydrate a bunch. And over here we have garlic chives, yummy, and our peppers. 
um, Serrano and, um, <clears throat> let's see, what was the other one? I always forget. I did Serrano and Ancho Chili. So, yummy. Lots of salsa coming from this garden. I'm going to transplant a couple of these um, to make space in here for these tomato plants into those pots. I've got two I want to go in pots. Um, these plants, though, don't get very big. These are the Oregon Spring. They outproduce themselves, though. You don't need to stake them either. Um, tomatoes. Uh, volunteer dill in there. And green onions that I just took the butts of the green onions. And they're in the ground. And you can use those tops anytime you want. Uh, more radishes over there. They're so good. These are the French breakfast radishes. Habanero, habanero peppers. Swiss chard. Mm. These are the little pots. Look at those. Those are cute. And they're, you know, they're good size. You can put a patio tomato in there or you can put um, uh, like those smaller variety of tomatoes. Flowers. I'm going to do flowers. Two tomatoes over here. Maybe, maybe three of those. And then I'll, I'll plant some more, some kind of green probably. So I've got tomatillos in the front, cucumbers in the back, uh, Napa cabbage right there. And you can cut those outer leaves. I've been using them in stir fries. Mm, and they're delicious. Spinach, ready to pick. Uh, Swiss chard, I picked on that yesterday and got all the, hopefully, all the seed heads out of there. Just trying to keep it all cleaned up. And now we have our squash bed. So this is delicata on the end to the left, acorn squash, and then crookneck on this side. So I just thought those pots added something over here. You know, and it kind of ties in with the lattice, the color of the bands on the pots. It looks good. <laughs> and then down here, oh, look at this. Uh, rhubarb. It's almost time to pick again. And Swiss chard. Can, do you guys think I like Swiss chard? Look at that Swiss chard. Something's been eaten on it, but we're going to pick that. And that one probably needs to get picked again. The rhubarb looks like it's just about ready to go again. I might have to divide that one next year. So, anyway, there's my little, my little backyard garden. And I hope that it inspires you to try your hand at gardening, home canning, food preservation, and enjoy what you have. It's so wonderful to be back here. I can't wait till this is all rocked in. Anyway, all right, guys. I'll say goodbye in just a second. I truly hope that it does inspire you to try your hand at some gardening. Just put some seeds in a little cup and throw it out on your deck and see what happens. You can have fresh herbs, fresh lettuce. I, I don't buy lettuce at the store now. Um, I've got stuff for salad all week. I'll have plenty for salad. If you want a succession, plant your lettuces um, so you have fresh crops coming back up behind the ones that are established. So anyways, all right guys, let me know what you're growing in your garden this year. And if you're having success or if you're being set back because of weather conditions. All right, leave the comments in the comment section below. And I'll be back next week for another garden update. Ooh, we need to go see the baby chicken.